it was 490 BC. The Persian army was approaching Athens, devastating everything in its way. The very Greek existence of the city-state was in grave danger. At the same time, threat was looming for the whole of Europe. The Athenians gathered and decided to send the day-runner Philippides to Sparta to inform them and ask for Spartan army support. Philippides runs from Athens to Corinth and then proceeds to Sparta. He informs the Spartans. The Spartans couldn't depart right away because they had to wait for the full moon. They could send their army right after. Philippides starts his way back, deeply disappointed since Spartans couldn't depart right away. He was thinking that they might arrive too late to help. As he was crossing Mount Parthenio, he had a vision of the god Pan. Pan was the god of shepherds and flocks. He had hindquarters and goat horns. According to ancient Greeks, he used to live in the Akkadian mountains. He was the son of Hermes, the messenger of the gods, and the wood nymph Triope. She gave birth to a child with an appalling sight. Goat's legs, pointed ears, two horns on his head, and even his face was covered with a dense beard. God Pan protested because there was no temple devoted to him in Athens. He told Philippides that the outnumbered Athenians would win the vast and well-armed Persian forces. He would help by creating an unbearable noise, panicking the Persian army. His request was that should his prophecy prove right, Athenians should build a magnificent temple devoted to him. Philippides returned to Athens and informed his fellow citizens about the delay of the Spartans and God Pan's prophecy that the Athenian army would defeat the vast Persian